Hiya, welcome back. We're at Lock Levin today. Uh, thanks to everyone on Facebook who pointed us in uh, this direction after yesterday's disaster at Glenwig. I think it was just a little bit too early in the year, really. There was no kelp, the, the rock was all bare, there was no bait fish. I didn't see a single return on the sounder. And uh, one of the commercial guys on the slipways I was launching said, uh, you probably won't catch much, really, because... Uh, the ground looks a lot better than it actually is. It doesn't really hold many fish, that's what he said anyway. And uh, in this instance, he was right. So anyway, we're here at Loch Levin. I've been told I can get cod, pollock, ras, coolie and ling. So I've got a metal on for now. I've got some soft plastics in the box. We're going to head off around the other side of the island and uh, see if we can't get a few fish. I'll see you over there. Right, we're going to have a little shot here. I'm in sort of 21 metres of water. No idea what I'm doing because I'm completely brand new to this mark and uh, the relief shading isn't that good on Navionics so I'm just having a guess. But I'm going to drop down because I've gone over various different depths as I've been going across here so uh, hopefully we'll pick up a couple of fish. It would be nice wouldn't it? Oh, I'm in! An actual fish! Get up! I need to tighten my drag a little. <laughs> a proper fish it's not that big I've just ended up uh, loosening me drag off a little bit too much got it oh hey it's not bad though goodness me oh <laughs> brilliant oh I'm absolutely delighted get in let's get it up and see what we've got eh oh fantastic man I'm so happy so happy what is it Brilliant. I have never been so happy to see a codlin in my whole life. 400 miles, two days, and there we go. Get in. What an absolute beauty. Oh, hey, I could kiss it. In fact, I'm going to kiss it. I'm going to do a Rex hunt. Mwah. Nice to see you, pal. Look at the colours on him. <laughs> oh, and breathe. See you later, son. Oh, I'm in! Yes! <laughs> I knew something was having a go there. I could feel the line coming out from under my finger and I was like, well, that's a bit odd. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. It's quite noddy, quite shaky, I should say. Let's have a look and see what it is, eh? Let's get it up. Another codlin. What a beautiful colour they are up here, eh? These remind us of the ones I was catching around Craig Leith. Look at that. It's a little beaut, isn't he? Let's get him off. Again, he's not a monster, but again, I'm delighted to see him. And there's more down there on the sounder, so... Whoop. We'll catch you later, pal. Well, the rain's here, so uh, we're going to get a little bit of rain on the lens, but not a lot I can do that do about that I should say so you just have to bear with us but there are fish underneath us again so I'm gonna get straight down there I might put a weedless plastic on in a bit now that I know there's a few codlin around here not just the odd fluke one I might put a weedless plastic on and uh, just have a, a slow little sort of uh, retrieve along the bottom see if we can't get a few more of them you know Just uh, adjusting where I am there, because I was just slightly too far out. Be a little bit further in, this is it. This will do. Oh, I just got hit off something. I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I think it's a fish. Yes, it's a fish, not very big. But we'll see what those fish were that were up, si up the side of that, up against the side of that structure anyway. It's teeny tiny actually, whatever it is. Let's have a look at it. Hey, <laughs> well look at that, would you? It's the first pollock of the trip. An absolute miniature version of a pollock. We'll be all right, we'll get that out the top of his little noggin. There he is, beautiful colours. Look at that. Brill, let's get him away, whoops. <laughs> And he's gone. 
Look, I'm going to be honest with you, like, it feels pretty weird catching cod and pollock in the woods. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Literally 10 foot from the shore. But brilliant. It's definitely a little bit different. Anyway, I shouldn't be gassing to you because there's a load of fish underneath us, according to the sound there. Oh, my mate! <laughs> no idea what was happening there because it took us right at the top of the uh, upstroke of the rod. Let's have a look and see what we've got, eh? It is another little codlin. You liked the look of that, didn't you, mate? Right, actually, it's not in his eye, it's next to his eye, so he's going to be just fine. So get that out. There he is. Little chap. See you, pal. Let's get on there, see if we can't get another one here. Oh, what's that? Oh, this feels all right. <laughs> that absolutely smacked as that. I thought I was might have been snagged for a moment there. <laughs> Feels like it's going to be the biggest fish of the trip so far, this. I mean, it could be coming up backwards, like. Maybe I'm just getting a little bit too excited, but uh, can't wait to have a look at it. There you go. It was coming up backwards. <laughs> it's all right. It's just around the butt, so it'll be fine. It hasn't actually gone into his guts, as it were. Let's get that out of there, if you just bear with us. A little wiggle and a jiggle. There we go. Beautiful, look at the colour of him. He's red for this time of year. See you, pal. And he's off. He's absolutely fine. Right, so I'll just talk you through my setup while we reset this drift. So today I've got the uh, Yagi Spin uh, saltwater rod there. It's uh, 40 gram, it's about seven foot long. That's just about right for me on a kayak. Any longer, this is not really the length of the rod, but for me it's the length of the butt. The butt starts getting caught up in your PFD and all that kind of stuff. On it, I've got my Pen Spin Fisher Mark 6 reel, and I've got some Stealth Smooth Braid on there by Spiderwire. It's 0.13 millimeters. Uh, then I've got 20 pound fluorocarbon, about four, four and a half foot. And today I've got this little abu. I can't remember what they're called, but they're about 24 grams, this little abu spinner on. They're absolutely great, these little lures. Caught loads of pollock with them over at Port Logan last time I was there in November. I had an absolute bonanza. Check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Oh, another thing you can do for me as well is you can uh, go and have a look for the Facebook page. So search for On The Drip, On The Drip? On The Drop Fishing, it was going so well, wasn't it? On The Drop Fishing on Facebook and uh, there's all sorts of stuff going on over there. I'm always on there having a chat, telling people where I'm going, what I'm doing, all that kind of stuff that you might be interested in. Get in! <laughs> it has been ages since we had a fish, so I'm really glad to get this one on. <laughs> get up. Feels like a coddling. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get it up and have a look at it. It's quite noddy. Fair racing through with the tide now, so it's giving us a bit of a sore arm. Let's get it up and have a look at it. I think we'll just keep drifting this bit of ground, to be honest with you, because it's uh, where all the fish seem to be hiding. Come on, get up. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. That's a beaut, isn't it? I'll settle for that today, I'll tell you. Look at that, man. Fish of the day so far. It's not a giant, but... Uh, you wouldn't need too many chips, would you? Look at that, look at the colour of them as well. What an absolute beauty. Oh, and the sun's come out just to show them off. See you later, pal. And he's off. Get in. Oh, ho, ho. Right, let's get down there, get another one. 
Right, the difficulty is getting the lure down there. Now we've got the wind and the tide working together, but I can't put the drogue out because I've got to constantly readjust, do you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's a good job I've got the trolling motor today because honestly, I'd be sick, sick of my life if I was having to paddle or pedal back towards the shore three foot every two seconds. That would drive us nuts, that. So if you look, I can tell you how fast we're going. So I turn it one turn, lift, couple of little taps, another turn, lift, and you'd think that would only be an inch off the bottom, but uh, still going down. So that's the hard job, keeping the lure high, uh, low enough in the water, you know. We're in? No, I don't think so. I might be, it'll be small if it is. I think I've probably just turned me lure sideways. Yeah, I think that's what's happened. Nope, it's a little fish. What is it? A little pollock, isn't it? Hey, hey, look at that. He was hungry. How'd he get that? And he's perfectly hooked in the bottom lip. Well, you're going to be an aggro boy when you get bigger. He didn't fancy hanging around here, did he? Let's get down there, see if we can't get another one. Absolutely stacks of fish down there now. I don't catch one now, I want shot. I want shot. I can't believe I've put my lure in the middle of those and not one of them's took it. It must be tiny. No. Oh, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> There you go. I thought we might pick one up. What is it? Let's have a look. Not a monster. It's another pollock. It's a shoal of small pollock, I think, but we'll have to have a look underneath. See if we can get through the... Sorry, pal. Right. So I was wondering why it was getting a little bit snotty, and that is because the tide has turned around. And now we've got wind over tide, but we're close in. Um, we're not actually in the open sea, so it'll be absolutely fine. It's just a little bit wobbly. But uh, we'll get down there, see if we can't grab ourselves another couple of fish, eh? What oh, I'm in. <coughs> what have we got? It doesn't feel big, but it's a fish. First one since the tide turned around. Oh, it might be a pollock, you know, it's putting a putting a little bend in the rod isn't it let's have a look and see what it is where are you where are you pal here he is and it is a pollock I thought so look at that well he's not massive but it's the best pollock we've had today <laughs> let's uh, get him away there you go he's a beauty see you later pal I'm just going to check I am recording because I'm just having one of those moments. There we go. I am. That's all right. Right. You can see how close in we are. We're not uh, far away from the shore at all. And on the other side of there is the car park where I've parked. And I'm at, um, well, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I'll put it up on the screen there. Um, I'm there. And uh, it's literally around that corner. So it's absolutely perfect, really, if you fancy giving it a shot. Even uh, it would, I would struggle out at sea today, I think, because the wind's around the 10, 12 mile an hour mark, especially now that it's going against the tide. It would be really difficult. So, uh, yeah, I'm really glad. Really glad I came here today. Get in. <laughs> I love it. There was a load of fish showing on the sounder, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to nab one of them because of the way the drift was going. But uh, let's have a look and see what we've got, eh? Exactly what we were wishing for. Another one of those beautiful red codlin. Look at that. Get in. Right, what have you done? And in one side, out the other side. We'll get you away in just a moment. Have a little look at this fella. Get this hook out all right. 
there we'll go have a little look at the colors on this look at it man what an absolute beauty it's only may just think what he's going to look like in a couple of months time see you later pal and he's off right in me eye well i think i'm just going to keep actually motoring on top of the fish and then when i see them drop down because that seems to be how it's working today They're all right close up to the edge, so you've literally got to sort of motor in to the drop off and then see if you can literally pop your lure on top of their heads. So here we go, I'm in 18 metres of water and all of a sudden, there's the drop off. Let's get down there and see if we can get that. There's no fish showing on this bit though, but we'll have a look. I maybe need to be a little bit further along that way, but we'll see. in the wrong spot right so basically what I've been doing for the last few fish is just fishing via the sounder it's not normally how it works with sea fishing I mean you do spot you spot structure and stuff for sure that's what you do with the sounder but you don't normally tootle along spot some fish and catch them it's not normally as straightforward as that but here it seems to be getting the best results because it's tough to get a drift that takes you right along the edge of the drop off and that's where the fish are and it's a sudden drop off it's not a sloping shelf it's it's like 10 meters bang 22 meters and that's where all of the fish are hanging out so i'm just sort of going along the edge of it and then when i spot a load of fish hanging out in fact i can be ready to show you this corner just going along the edge of it and then if i spot a load of fish hanging out I'm just dropping down and hopefully catching them. Right, so I've got my camera ready there, just in case. So you can see the drop-offs there, can't you? Right, so I'm just uh, driving along, or should I say, steaming along until I see that. And then I'm dropping down on top of them and hopefully catching them. But I've probably just gone over the top of them now, showing you the video, but... Uh, Let's get myself down and just see if I can grab a one. Come on, let's have a few of them. Gonna stop sort of halfway down because they're all kind of mid-water. Got it. <laughs> it's gonna be small, I think. Yeah, they're all mid-water, whatever these are. More Pollock. Just a little fella. Crazy. Right in the bottom lip though, so easy to get off. There he is, another beaut. We'll see you later, pal. There are thousands of them down there. Hopefully there'll be a couple of bigger ones in amongst them. Gosh. <laughs> I'm in again. I'm gonna to struggle to get through these, I think. There we go. Another tiny little Pollock. Right, I'll just let this go straight down to the bottom and hopefully might be something with a bit more size underneath them. What a lovely colour they are though. Absolutely glowing orange. This could be it. Could be game over if I lose this lure. Because uh, I don't think I've got any metals left and I can't be bothered to go all the way back to the van and get stuff. Here we go. I'm gonna lose it. I think so. Did we? Uh, yes, we did. Right. I've lost the lot. So I think that is gonna be it. So it's turned out all right, hasn't it? We haven't had any monsters, but uh, we've been kept busy all day and that's what we wanted, wasn't it? Uh, do us a favor, would you, and subscribe to the channel. I know I bang on about it, but it really does make a big difference to that pesky old YouTube algorithm. Another thing that helps is a thumbs up. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it one of those. And if you want to ask us a question, just say hello, anything at all, do that in the comments down below because I always reply. And while you're on, you might as well nip over to the Facebook page on the Drop Fishing and give that a like as well. I'll catch you next time.